Good evening. Welcome once again to the workshop. Uh, bench, on the bench today, been asked to do a headlight upgrade uh, on the Mustang while it's here. Um, Dad wanted to go over to a halogen style headlamp, get away from the seal beams. Not a bad idea. Quite plainly, you can see that it's come from custom Mustangs again, uh, same place the distributor came from. Uh, this package has been put together, I assume, by them. Well, at least the harness has been assembled by them, and they're just getting bits and pieces together and stick them in a box and sell them and dad bought it so gonna have a bit of a squiz and see what we're in for start off i did have a look at one of these uh lamp assemblies the housings before um it looks like a very you know solid bit of gear the glass on the front doesn't seem to be made of rydell crystal or anything like that so it's going to be uh, tough enough uh, the Autopel logo on here at first glance could be mistaken for a, for a Heller style of logo from a distance. Um, whether that's done intentionally or not, I don't know and I really don't care. Uh, the good thing is it doesn't have, they are made in India, and it doesn't have made in India stamped right across the front because you know that, you know, when you go to a car show, someone's going to come along and they're going to say, hey... What's with that made in India headlamps? I'm not jaded. Main difference between these and the seal beams are obviously we take a H4 headlamp bulb in the back here and also uh, we have a separately mounted park bulb. Uh, so on the existing seal beams, uh, they've got one big plug that goes onto the back of the lamp uh, and just plugs onto the three contacts. And the park bulb is just held down in that plastic housing up against the back of the glass and there's a little clear spot uh, cut out in the reflector for that bulb to shine through so this is a bit nicer you can put a proper act an actual proper bulb inside the lamp inside the assembly uh, and it's got a good quality grommet on there that'll uh, keep all the nasties out uh, glass wise chrome wise really nothing to complain about it's nice and even it's nice and complete uh, it doesn't look like it's you know um, a half-assed effort so far that looks all good it's even been given the OK stamp of approval. So that's an Autopel seal beam lamp assembly from your pal and mine. Moving right along, the next thing we get are two motor champ halogen bulbs, H4 halogen bulbs, just standard uh, 12 volts, 6055s, uh, what you'll find in most cars from the factory that run these sorts of bulbs. Uh, they are, oh, they're an Autopel brand as well. It's a bit of a surprise to see the same brand going across everything. Nothing really to write home about there. Made in India for Champ International. I wonder if that's the same mob that made Champ oil filters. Auto Pell and Motor Champ. How can we go wrong? Now this is the next interesting part, is it comes with a uh, ready-to-go harness, which does make life a lot easier. Give you some basic instructions. Thank you for purchasing the custom master. Thank you very much. We're glad to be part of your business let's get a squeeze here and see what they do for us already it's looking like a pretty reasonable sort of thing the cable i could almost go out on a limb and say that that is a three core <laughs> lamp cable um, but i'm not going to but it does have that appearance to it and we've got two core lamp cable here 75 0.75 uh, mil square um, so yeah, that is the same sort of size and gauge as um, lamp cord, and you can see it's rated uh, 600 volts. So regardless, it doesn't matter, um, but yeah, definitely nothing wrong with that. Insulation's good, it's not, you know, that plasticky, um, like you really sort of shiny, tacky looking uh, plasticky insulation that you get on some four-wheel drive pre-made wiring harnesses that are selling like hotcakes. Uh, the plugs for the back of the lamps, or the back of the bulbs, look pretty robust. They've got ceramic inners, which is a good thing. Uh, that'll help to give it more resilience against the heat. Overall, this harness looks to be the goods. The relays. Chisky. C-H-S-K-Y. I have no idea what that brand is. Never seen it before. Um, but the good thing is, it comes with its own mount block. No, terminal block, so the relays just plug straight into that, which means we only have to drill one hole, and we can change the relays should they fail. Uh, not knowing this brand, I don't know how long they're going to last, but should the relays fail, it's just a matter of simply slotting one out, putting a new one in, and you're back up and running. You don't have to sit there and fart around with um, you know, unscrewing things like if it was a Bosch or a Nava or something like that. Um, so yeah, 240 amp relays, uh, 
just your, your basic style. The terminal block's got the same branding made on it. Look, overall, I have to say that's a pretty good looking harness for, for what it is. Looks like it's got a 30 amp blade fuse in there, judging by the green. Ah! Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh. 30 amps. Happy days. Uh, so, the way this works, obviously, we have one of these, our little feed that goes into the existing wiring harness. That'll give us our uh, high beam versus low beam power, so we can switch the relays to wherever we want. And then these suckers uh, take the power that comes through this separate uh, higher current feed. And we have obviously a, a matching high current ground. Uh, and then all the uh, higher current goes through this section. So this is purely our signal wire to actuate the relays. It does make it very, very easy because you don't have to pull the existing harness out. You don't have to cut and shut anything. Uh, depending how pedanting I'm feeling on the day, I might actually do that. Um, but there's really no reason to because all of this sort of stuff you can tuck away and make it fit somewhere nicely. We can see that it has been checked over. I'm guessing that means that it's been through quality control. Notice the circuit has already got the function of insurance. <laughs> Overall, um, I am pretty damn happy with this little package. Uh, usual thing, like there's no, this is not a sponsored uh, review or anything at all. This is just um, stuff that dad's bought paid full price for it and sent up to me to fit to his vehicle for him before it gets shipped down to Melbourne. Um, so I'm being pretty impartial here, but I have to say this, as far as a good cost effective and I would imagine relatively economical upgrade kit, if you don't want to go to LEDs, which I'm not overly keen on and neither is dad, uh, this looks to be a very, very straightforward and simple uh, changeover and yeah everything seems to be pretty good quality so yeah thumbs up from me i'll be putting it in uh, any dramas i'll let you know but i can't foresee there being any it looks like it'd be a pretty quick job too so we all like that thanks again for watching I'll see you next time